Good afternoon. This is Victoria from GBP Estates, just outside this lovely two-bed bungalow in Hornchurch, RM11 postcode. Now I'm going to show you the road first, just so you can get a feel of it. It's a, a lovely area around here, so quiet, no kind of permit parking or anything around here. You can park quite freely, which is always a plus. Such a nice day today, guys. So predominantly down kind of Hill Crescent, there are a variety of houses. So you've got bungalows, semi-detached, detached houses. You've got quite a few of them. Okay. There is also as well, which I know is quite important to some people, I'll just stand in the road, <laughs> just keep an eye on the cars. There is a drop curb and a driveway where the vendor's car is currently at the moment so let's take you in obviously there is a cute gate there but i'm just going to walk through now there is a stairs on here however this is kind of um portable and um, so the vendor's parents um who sadly passed away they've um had this there um because they were quite elderly however they can actually be quite they can be ported off as you can tell um and you can either have a deck in there or just the stairs that goes up there is a bit of brickwork just underneath that you can start with obviously double fronted as well which is beautiful so i'll show you kind of from a, what it would look like which is great Again, it's so quiet. I feel like I'm talking really loudly because of how quiet it is, but it's actually not. I'm trying not to speak too loud. <laughs> okay. So, walk you in. There is a lovely, lovely space of porchway here where you can put coats, you can put shoes. I'm going to show you. Bear with me. So, you see. So you can easily put kind of a coat rail here, umbrellas, shoes, which is lovely. Then you also have the door as well, which is great. So I'll just take you in. You can shut the door quickly, bear with me. Okay. So, hallway. Obviously, there's me. <laughs> but... If I talk, take you through, now if I go to the left of me, this is a really, really generous size bedroom. Now, obviously with bungalows, the great thing about bungalows is because it's all on one floor, you could really up and change each room to however you wanted the layout. So this could be a lounge area if you wanted to. Depends if you were going to convert this, which I will talk to you a little bit later about. But this is a really nice, generous size room lovely high ceilings in here i can't even get the ceilings in because they're that high obviously the vendors or the, the children of the vendors they've actually made it all neutral in here um really well conditioned it will just be cosmetic work depending on your preference of style um which is always a plus and it's very rare in bungalows that you do actually get that but again, the bay windows, you can see because they're double fronted, they will have this extra bay, which is really, really good for space. Okay. Again, with the quietness, I feel like I'm talking so loud right now, but I'm not. It's just such a quiet, lovely road. Okay. Built in wardrobes as well. I wish if I just open one very quickly so much storage in there obviously you've got the ones up top as well but this goes all along the wall so in terms of storage definitely a plus okay it's just great now, if we come back out into the hallway, there is an access point here to the lounge and there is also one there. So one could be boarded up if you wanted to, uh, depending, again, on what you would like to do with the property. We've got a really nice, generous, really well thought out layout 
which is just amazing. Okay, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to come through here and take you into the second bedroom. Really cute bedroom. So this could be for a nursery, could be for an office space, again with a guest bedroom as they have got it right now. Again with the high ceilings and you do also have side access as well to this property guys um, where it is detached but again really nice size bedroom you can quite easily see there's a lot of floor space to work with you could easily put kind of a wardrobe in there if you wanted to okay now i'll take you through the kitchen because i'm going to take you through to the lounge and round but i'm going to show you the bathroom first so again really nice generous size bathroom They only have a shower in this one. So if I shut the door to show you, so they only have a shower, but there is definitely room. You can hear it's echoey where it's quite large. Um, you could definitely fit a bath in here if you wanted to. Okay. Again, with the high ceilings, there's high ceilings throughout this whole property. Extractor fan and could easily put a great big kind of cabinet in there, which would be good. So if I show you it from this angle. Okay. All right, let's take you through to the lounge. Again, you can kind of see the lounge is so lovely. You can see kind of the layout. So this is the lounge area. Again, with the bay windows that kind of extends that extra floor space. Love the settees as well. So that's the vendor when I first saw them. Let's in such, there's no lights on in here. So the, this is all natural lighting, which is so lovely. And dependent, obviously, I know it's a sunny day, but it just lets in so much natural light. And that is because of the little surprise out there. It's like a little breakfast room, which I absolutely love. Okay, this goes into the lounge, kind of from the lounge, sorry, straight through into the dining area. But this is a great space. So great. If I show you it from this way. See how nice and spacious that is. And again, with the natural light and the high ceilings and the alcoves as well, you can actually add storage if you wanted to. Like the cabinets they've done here, you could kind of do all along the wall if you wanted to. Now, this is kind of like my favourite part of the house because it's like a little summer breakfast room. They've obviously used it as kind of their utility room with a fridge freezer and a washing machine, which is absolutely fine. But I think it would look really good. So kind of like a breakfast room, which they have actually got a little breakfast table in here. And it's separated off, which is also lovely because it's obviously always sometimes people prefer a kitchen in one room and then you can come into your breakfast room. But we're actually on a, a hill here, guys, hence the name Hill Crescent. Um, but it's just so beautiful. Okay. So, for the kitchen, then I'll go straight into the garden. But this would be the kitchen, so you can actually sit from the breakfast room and through the hallway. So, if you want to go from each bedroom or the toilet, you can access it. So, it's kind of like an all round of this one. So. Obviously, you've got a valent boiler in here. This one's reasonably new, it looks less than 10 years old. Um, perfect size for a two bed bungalow, um, which is great. Again, with the nice natural light, and look at that view. That view is just so lovely. Okay. Good use of storage space in here as well. Gas central heating, of course. And the storage as well is really quite good. 
okay again with the ceilings that are like all the way up there <laughs> okay so let's take you out so again that this is what you come out to so if i just stand here it's just beautiful you're not overlooked again so quiet they also have a lovely lovely pond with really big fish We've got lovely stairs so i'll show you because in regards to bungalows i know a lot of the in thing at the moment and especially because bungalows are kind of a forever home so oh by the way i thought i'd mention this as well side get access coming straight through into the garden so great for social event families if you want to bring garden furniture through or even if you wanted to bring things through up and into kind of this area here to stop it coming through the, the, the corridor um, at the front of the house. So well presented, the garden space. So especially for kids, um, if you like to kind of maybe put a pool out here, obviously it's not a built in one, um, well you could, but. <laughs> it's like a little round garden, it's so cute. look how beautiful that is now what i wanted to show you was this house here now that house has put a dormer and if that was a bungalow well that is a bungalow but they've put a dormer on it to create two extra bedrooms so exactly the same principle that you could do with this property here and that's obviously the back of the property so it's so lovely but you could create a dormer, you could put a loft conversion on there and create a two bed into a four bedroom or depending on the size that you did actually want. But look, you can see you go around, go for your little afternoon stroll. Which is lovely. Now, originally this used to have pigeons in it. <laughs> bit of history for you. Um, however, again the floor space is here for a nice summer house an outhouse even if you want to put pigeons back in there um another shed here you've got a greenhouse over here and also just around the back there is a little bit of um like plot space just around the back there but i can't get back there at the moment because it's a little bit overgrown however that is a bit of space where you can extend or put anything else you want down there so guys this one is just amazing it's very rare to get a bungalow with a garden this size this characteristic in such a well built up area same thing there see the dormers again with that one over there so it's definitely done with permission but guys, if you do want to see the property, as I know many of you do, if you'd like to give me a call on 01708 504455. Again, that's 01708 504455. I'm taking view in straight away. The property is chain free. The vendors do want to move quickly with this, guys. So it's not one to miss. Give me a call. Thanks for watching. Bye.